Holidus. What's the name again of the brother? Holidus. Omega Supreme Fatty Acid. What are the things that we can get from Holidus? When we talk about Omega Fatty Acid for the first timers and for the new members, it has two major components. I would like you to repeat these words. Docosa hexanoic acid. Can you please say it loud? Docosa hexanoic acid again. Proven to improve your brain memory. Second, Icosa pentanoic acid. Can you please say it louder this time? Icosa pentanoic acid. The one that can lower down your blood cholesterol. With vitamin E antioxidants. Gain okay, people. Look at this. Pregnant women, okay, during pregnancy, they need omega fatty acid, BHA, for what? Baby's eye and brain health, and of course, learning ability and memory for the kids. And also the mothers, well, the mothers will also need this for their brain and for their, also their eyes. Now, let's continue. Who amongst you ladies, when you were still pregnant or after you giving birth, have suffered from postpartum depression. Can I say as much, madam? Okay. Guys, when you talk about postpartum depression, the worst case that I was able to read, okay, was a mother who killed her kids after giving birth. Okay? Now, what usually happens here? There's this so-called hormonal imbalance. And I really cannot blame the mothers for this. Why? Because every time you give birth, or every time you're pregnant, people, your body is being deformed by pregnancy. Yes or no? Yes. Just look at those moves. Pahang sila pakong pakiyo. The skin color is said to be getting darker. The abdomen is getting bigger with striations or lines. Okay. Then after labor, that will take you approximately about 14 hours. Once you give birth, then much already inside the room. When the father goes inside the room, the first person that the father will try to approach will not be the mother, but the baby. <laughs> after kissing the baby, say, cute ng baby ko. Pag pinis na natin, ang cute ng baby ko. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> The depression, right? Again, people, we need this so called DHA for cognitive development. Now, it's a baby call. Kidding aside, it will give your infants a better sleeping pattern, okay? Because, in all honesty, as, a, as an infant is being born, guys, per day, initially in the first few months, they will only be awake for approximately four hours. But it usually happens at around 1 a.m when you're about to sleep. Okay, so guys, if you would like to sleep better, please give, or please, for the mothers, take call it this. Next. It will also try to improve the infant's immunity. Guys, let's talk about infant's immunity. The one recommended by American Heart Association will be two soft gels of colitis. Okay. Do we need to breastfeed our kids, yes or no? Yes. Guys, why? Because of the so-called immuno globally a. Can you say it now? Immunoglobulin A. In the first two days, okay, of that so-called breast milk is the most important one. It contains colostrum. Can you say it now? Colostrum. Not colorum. Are we clear so far, people? No, that's colostrum. And that will give your, provide your kids enough immunoglobulin A to fight microorganisms. Okay? Now, people, but there's a problem. Why? Because sometimes, okay, when a baby is born, that baby doesn't know how to suck the nipples. Yes or no? It usually happens, guys. So what we usually recommend as doctors in the hospital is for the daddy to suck the nipples. Right? Others are thinking, what can we volunteer? <laughs> no, only the daddy suck the nipples, no? Why? Because if the daddy will be able to suck the nipples, guys, it will be able to what? Stimulate the breast to produce milk. Okay? But that is, I would like to remind you, that after the breast is already to be, it was already able to produce milk, you better stop. <laughs> <laughs> and give, of course, the rest to your kids, okay? <laughs> that's good to you, not patient, okay? Increase the HA and EPA in the mother's breast milk, better for visual acuity at four months old, okay? 
and just look at the picture in fact see better muscle coordination guys if i will ask you which will develop first the upper limbs or the lower limbs upper, um, upper limbs kamay or pa For those who said the lower limbs, look at this. If your baby, after they are born, was able to stand up at once, <laughs> chana kya? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the aside. But first, look at the hands. When they hold the breast, what will they be using? The hands, not the feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's a girl to chime people. Of course, we would like to prevent that from happening, no? First, hold it up, okay? This lets you, oh, these are problems that will confront you, okay? If and ever your, your, your child reaches this age, it's this lets of course, ADHD. What is that, people? When you talk about ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, but when you just need the child, they will, they, they will play. Their attention span is so, so short, people. And what we would like to recommend is for you to be able to bring them at once to a um, pediatrician that will try to guide them, people, okay? step by step, to be able to correct this whole ADHD. Okay? That's a clinical pediatrician. Okay? What else? Another problem is dyslexia. Can you please say the word, people? Dyslexia. Okay? Learning disability. It can impair a person's fluency. The way you try to say the words, accuracy, in being able to read, not just but to read, but also to speak, okay? And spell. And which can manage itself as what? Difficulties with phonological. The words will be, that will be coming from your mouth, people. And the coding, orthographic coding, even the simple <coughs> solid puzzles cannot be done, okay? Auditory short-term memory and long rapid naming. If you will ask me, what's your name? Robert. Robert. Okay? Regine Velasquez, when she was still young, was a dyslexic patient. And every time she memorized her songs, she usually asked someone to read it for her. For her to be able to memorize it. But she was able to recover after. Okay? So, Guys, you can already see the brain cells here. Lost <laughs> one. Okay, aside people. Adulthood. Okay? What will happen here? Improvements of depression, mood disorder, anxiety, particular first confusion. And this is I would like to happen, of course, to your student and my wife. That even if you will reach the age of 80, just like Dr. Goffo, he will still look young. Yes. So can you please give the daughter a hand? Thank you. Guys, what should we look as we reach the age of 80? Okay. First, enhance the top of weight loss or decrease the belly fat. Because when we age people, remember that we are also utilizing the proteins in your muscle that will make it thinner, guys. That will cause what? Your, your belly to look like this. Of course, that will not be good. Okay? Second, it's in joint function, so it's a good anti-inflammatory product, people, for those suffering from arthritis. What else? Decrease the risk of stroke with 31%, and decrease sudden cardiac of death by approximately 45%. That is the importance of taking omega fatty acid. What else? Wow! If your diet is like this, then most probably you will be joining this family. And what you would like to advise will be for you to have a well-balanced diet to enjoy life to the fullest. Equal again. Wow. Half pound of beef. Are you familiar with quarter pounder people? Yes. Quarter, one fourth. So this is already half pound. Four half pounds of beef, which means this one is equivalent to eight quarter pounders. And to think that is only your merienda <laughs> <laughs> with eggs, bacon, cheese, mayonnaise, 
gosh, people. If that will only be your merienda every day, then I will assure you, pampabata. Nang buhay. Maagat ang mawawala. Okay, what else? What? Of course, we would like to prevent this from happening to our stroke. It's quite easy to know if someone is suffering from stroke. So first, look at the face and equal. Second, look at the arms. It looks like this. Dok, mayaba. If you recall that, wait. Then, if you ask them, what's your name? Are you okay? We have a problem. Sorry, speech. So please go at once. The emergency service system, okay, the hospital, in order to preserve the function of the brain. Now let's talk about the brain, people. I would like to remind you guys that different parts of the brain will be having different functions. The one in front will be responsible for your motor. The one here will be responsible for sensory, hearing, and of course, visual or visual. Others are thinking, Dr. the eyes are here. <laughs> <laughs> the one responsible for the brain will be back there, okay? For you to be able to appreciate what I'm saying, can you please form your hand like this? Can you, can you please stop the back of your hand? What's the feeling? Para makumahal yung mata? Yes. Maybe you should try to eat a part of the brain called as the cerebral wood. Okay? The one responsible for violence. They're sometimes not being protected by the skull. Now, what are you trying to drive out here? Have you ever tried to hold the brain, yes or no? Not yet? Okay. Brain of a chicken. Hindi ba yun? Fish. Okay? Later on, as you go home, try to get the brain of the fish or the chicken and place it on your hands. And try to what? And I will assure you, sir, I'm not Why? Because the brain is as soft as a jelly. No. Really? Yes. But it's being protected. First, of course, by the hair. Followed by the scalp. Then, of course, by the scalp. And the meninges. And the cerebrospinal fluid. So, just try to feel your hair. If you don't have a hair, <laughs> so you lost one of the so-called protection. I think it's so hard to put, okay? So. Now, if and ever, accidents will happen. Like what? If you will be, if you will, if by chance you fell and your head hits the floor, then you might suffer from epidural hematoma. But if one of the so-called blood vessels in your brain ruptures, guys, that's subcular hematoma, or even intracerebral hematoma. And as blood accumulates inside your brain, they will try to push the substance of the brain that can damage that part of the brain. That can lead to different kinds of what manifestations or senses of thoughts. People, one more thing, that is bleeding. Okay? There is a blood clot that can go to that part of the brain. This one involves the brain stem. I'm quite sure you're still familiar with Fernando Paul Jr., yes or no? Yes. And he died because of what? Thrombus in the brain stem. Okay, what else? That's because of what? I'll call it the first question. What else? Okay. Look at these fibrin clots, blood clots with fibrous deposits, calcium, cholesterol, people. And it just happened that it started in the blood vessels in your heart. The good news is it was removed from the heart. But the bad news is it traveled to the brain. So, nakayus na sa atas sa puso, na stroke ka naman. Maliwala ko tayo. Now, people look at this, okay? Again, what will form this so-called clots or problems? Thrombus formation and, of course, atherosclerotic clots. Guys, if there's a clot here, will the blood still flow, yes or no? Not anymore. And if it, if, if it will happen here, that specific muscle part of the heart will die. And people, again, I would like to mention that the heart's muscle will try to follow the other non no. What is that? If one part of the heart will die, the entire heart will die and we will die. And again, we're dealing with cholesterol. People, these are the stages, okay, of atherosclerosis. This one will still be good, but if this will happen to you, I will assure you, you're bound to die. Okay? Now, people, again, 
that person is not in love. Okay? <laughs> he is suffering from what heart attack. Guys, how can we try to reduce the incidence of stroke? First, try to reduce clumping blood platelets. Reduce bleeding vessel wall reaction. Second of improve the elasticity of the endothelial linings, the one lining the blood vessels. Next, reduce the inflammatory response. Then keep on decrease the blood pressure. I would like to remind you guys that your blood pressure should be 120 over 80. Okay? If by chance you're already reaching 140, that's hypertension. Okay? And that will give more problems to your heart. What else? Decrease blood lighting and triglyceride or even the bad carriers of cholesterol for accumulating. What else? Increase and improve cerebral arterial activity. It means it will try to improve the blood flow to your brain. And finally, people, okay? Decrease blood viscosity. Okay? What else? And decrease resting heart rate. The heart rate should be approximately 60 to 80 and the maximum should be 100 but if you are in a resting state it should be around 60 to 70 okay next that is a person suffering from gangrene can you please say it now this time people gangrene usually it will happen for those suffering from diabetes mellitus guys we had a client okay who suffered from gangrene of the big toe and what happened? It was amputated. But years after, it traveled up to this part. And again, it was amputated there. I had a friend who happens to be a doctor, also a diabetic client. Her name is Gangrene, reached the knee. And he was amputated to that level. Some were clients, which began in here. And they were amputated. But what if it will reach here? You're dead. <laughs> okay? So, what else is what? That patient is not wearing socks, okay? So, he is suffering from dumping, of course, of his left and right foot. Okay? And I'm afraid because this one, I guess, already reaches the level of the knee. This one's still good, but this one is not only good. So, guys. We would like to prevent those things from happening to us by trying to improve the flow of blood. And people, what is the recommendation given by a medical session? That we need to take 900 milligrams, okay, of omega fatty acid, which should be, of course, two soft gels of colitus every day. So the question is, people, do we need to take colitus every day? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, palapat na po.